Hi guys, it's Crystal City Girl Homestead, and time to do another one of my favorites. It's actually a guilty pleasure, but I'm going to do something different with it today. I am actually going to doctor it up and make it even better. <laughs> I love Sloppy Joes, I'm not going to lie, and I love the um, homemade one that I make, you know, with the A1 and whatever it is, the barbecue sauce and all that good stuff. But every once in a while, <laughs> my guilty pleasure is manwich sauce. I love it. I don't like the bold. I like the original. But I do love it. I'm not going to lie. Um, I hated how my mom made them when we were kids. She just used tomato sauce and I don't know what else. But ugh, I couldn't stand them. When I moved out on my own... I bought some manwich and man was it good well then I worked at the restaurant and I like how we made it with the barbecue sauce and the brown sugar but every once in a while I still love to have my guilty pleasure <laughs> but I'm gonna do something I've never done before today and I'm going to I'm going to add a few things to it just to kind of, you know, liven it up just a little bit. Because, you know what, why not? We can do anything we want to do. It's our kitchen, our rules. We do what we want to do. And hopefully this turns out good because I've never done it this way. <laughs> never know until you try it, right? That's usually how that works. I don't want big chunks, so I've kind of sliced them into little tiny pieces. All right. Let's get that put in the pan, and we're going to start cooking that. And then I thought, well, why not put some yellow pepper with it? You know, I used to cut them up different than this. And look how those little ones are growing inside of that. I just find it easier to cut these now if I cut them like that. Now normally, you know, I can't do too many green peppers because it gives me and Tom both um, really, really bad heartburn. But I can normally do the colored ones. The yellow, the red, the orange. I can usually do those and it doesn't bother either one of us. So that's a good thing. And I've never tried my Sloppy Joes with it in there, so why not? You know, I mean, we might really like it that way. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll hate it that way. <laughs> Who knows? Wouldn't make for a very long video, though, would it, if I just cooked up burger and threw that in there? You'll see what my other guilty pleasure is, too. <laughs> I have a couple things that are canned that I don't make myself. Well, I do can some of it, but that I really, really like on my own. I'm going to save those two pieces. I don't think I need that much put in there. got a snack bag and let's just save those two pieces for something else well actually I'm going to leave it out because I'm going to add it to something else ta-da alright so then let's get that mixed in there um, one second so now we're going to take two packages of my hamburger that I do up, and we're going to get that put in there. So either, when I do my burger, I either put it in like one pound packages, I got to get a new scale, but, or I put them in burgers, or I pre-fry them. And I thought I'd use fresh burger today. 
Well, it's not fresh. It's been frozen. But you know what I mean. And we're going to get that broken up into pieces. And if you notice, I squeeze a lot of that air out of there. So actually, it takes up very little space in your freezer. It's not like the big one pound packages that you buy at the store that takes up a lot of room. So then I got to thinking, I got my one thing that I want to do for a side dish, and I'll show that to you in a minute. But I was thinking, why not make a little tiny salad for the side? So I'm going to peel the cucumber. I don't mind if they're peeled. Tom likes them better peeled, so we peel them for him. <laughs> I really don't mind either way. It's not like a, well, that's a killer to the deal. Forget it. <laughs> so I'm going to cut all these, not real thick. And a piece for me. <laughs> and we're going to quarter them. I know what I forgot now, too. I will get it in one second. We don't need a great big salad because it's just me and Tom. Well, probably tonight, Jack G, like usual, but. Alrighty. Let's get what was left of that pepper. Let's chop that up in there, too. It's going to be delicious. It just sprayed me. But not the oil. <laughs> the pepper. I know we're going to have to bury our peppers in regular dirt in the ground this year because we ran out of space in our beds. <laughs> And we have some peppers out in the greenhouse. But they're going to have to grow in the ground. Because we're all out of raised buds. So we're going to put that in there. And then let me grab what I forgot. Alright, I forgot my tomato knife. <laughs> so I'm going to dice up a tomato too. I know I say it all the time, every time I use it, but I really do love this tomato knife. Can't forget it when I'm chopping up tomatoes. Because it just works so well. We're just going to dice that up too. See, dinner's almost done. Look at that. <laughs> I probably should have used a bigger bowl, I think. But that's okay. Let me grab a small spoon, though. Let's get all this stirred up. Oh, man. 
making it look good. I think it's nice to have a little added stuff to it. I think that'll be great. Why not? You have to get a new spoon. <laughs> you sometimes you guys I'm just not that organized now in this pan before I do my salad is Bush's baked beans I love Bush's baked beans but they're expensive so I get the brown sugar and hickory and we'll put that on there we're not gonna start warming it up yet and then I'm gonna take this salad let me grab a bigger bowl Hold on one second, guys. I don't need to make a mess. I'm the one cleaning it up, but still, maybe that's why I don't want to make the mess. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to shake up some Italian dressing. And as I use this up, we can put that in recycling. And we're going to get that all mixed together. And I'm going to keep that in the refrigerator till just before Tom gets home. Because anytime you do a veggie anything, it's always better cold. So look at that for a side. All right, I'm going to finish frying up this hamburger and I'll be right back. I know, I just thought about this. I hope you guys aren't upset over a video like this because really it's not homemade anything. <laughs> Sorry. So I'm going to add my sauce to it. I know you're probably thinking I just thought of the same thing too. Like, really Chris, you just did a video on this? <laughs> but you know what? Sometimes your heart just wants what it wants. It's probably not good for my heart, but yeah. <laughs> I could have made the fancy sloppy joe mix and all that, but honestly, this is what I was wanting. And I understand if you get frustrated and go, girl, why'd you make a video like that? <laughs> I get it, if that's the case. Alrighty, let's take a little spoonful of that. Well, a fork, well, how's that? And see if it does change, taste the change, or change the taste. Oh, it smells so good. Mmm. The peppers and onions really do add a little bit something to it. I like that. Mmm, is that good? <laughs> so when Tom gets home, we'll dress up the plates, we'll have the beans warmed up, we'll get the salad out, and we'll let him do a taste test. And I'm sorry if I let you down that it wasn't home cooking tonight, but it's just something I've been craving. Thanks for bearing with me. I'll be back. Howdy, Tom. Hi. There's his dinner. Beans and Sloppy Joes and chips, and he's got a salad over there. And his beer. It's been a rough day. I added a few things to that. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm. Onions and peppers. Mm. Those are the buns I got at the bread store for 50 cents. Mm. <laughs> Those are good. Want to try your salad? <laughs> you like that? Mm -hmm. It's got Italian dressing on it. We think Jack. He's been mowing over here the whole time, so. Did you try your salad? Not yet. <laughs> 
And we got some watermelons still left. Bunch of jazz hasn't eaten yet. Yeah. We think. Well, everything's good. Alrighty. So we're going to let the hungry guys eat. You guys have a blessed night. Be a blessing and bye, Tom. Bye, Tom. Bye, Jack. Bye. You guys have a great night.